Hello everybody, this will be third video about my journey through the FL Technic facilities and today we'll join Yolanta, which is very skillful entity inspector and she's gonna tell us a little bit about her job and if you're asking what NDT means, it is non-destructive testing and thanks to her, we'll also be able to see how such a test is carrying out. So let's take a look at it. So guys, we slowly move to the NDT office and this is Yolanta, which will which kindly explain us some of her tools and what is her job here in yes. FL Technic. Uh, I would like to stop the video for a second because uh, what you're gonna hear is not Yolanta's normal voice. She lost the voice the day before, so I would like to say big thanks for her effort to pass all the information, even she was really struggling to talk. So let's continue. Shortly we can perform uh, uh, one inspection in uh, a cockpit. Okay. Uh, we will check the cracks in the uh, main frame, window okay. frame. Usually we can find the crack. And if we find the crack, we have to uh, replace the uh, window frame. Mm -hmm. These jobs can take two weeks work in hunger and uh, cost a lot of, a lot of, a lot of <laughs> yeah, just, just preparing, uh, taking uh, different tools for uh, a kind of inspection. Uh, uh, we uh, should calibrate instrument in mm -hmm. accordance with all documents. We cannot just... Uh, yeah, just go, go and can go perform, and yeah, yeah, of go course. And we have all paperwork, uh, all documentations, just short look how, how to do. Mm -hmm. After that I will show you where is this location. Okay, yeah. yep. <coughs> so I guess you have yeah, some test bed, right? Yeah, just place an airplane different uh, calibration tool mm -hmm. because all cal calibration uh, reference standards have to be the same like an aircraft if we have a uh, structure it's a uh, lower wing uh, skin mm -hmm. and uh, the mm, plate uh, on the skin it's actually the same size, the same material, the same mm, fasteners, and uh, uh, we have imitation of cracks. I and, see. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. we uh, calibrating uh, uh, the tool, and we um, can understand that we can uh, found a crack. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if everything all, all right on this uh, standard. Mm -hmm. and now our mm, equipment works good, and on, and uh, we are trying to find the crack on the. On the airplane, yeah. Yes. It's a crack. So how we can say that there is a crack? All signals who goes up, mm -hmm. it's a crack. Yeah, you can see with the light. Yeah, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but usually we didn't see anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it's painted. It's painted. Yeah. Yeah. So need to remove yeah. this. Remove the the surface protection to. No. To, no. No. Okay. Because uh, we try to find uh, something. Uh, which cannot um, find by yeah, 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 just visual, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't mean that we have to remove the paint. I'm going through mm -hmm. and it show the crack. Yeah, 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 I see, I see. Yeah. So now and you found uh, something and yeah. then, then you need to go deeper, yeah. right? Yeah, but uh, usually I uh, just look in the structure, mm -hmm. oh, everything okay. I can go home now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, have yeah. To check That's basically this, yeah. that's basically me. It's general visual inspection. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's good. We know the place where we have to do that. Okay, yeah, because inspection. we have a manual, of course. And <laughs> let's go. From the NDT office, okay, we must get a copy of the airplane where we will perform the inspection. And as Yolanta says, if we find something during this process, it can cost a lot of money and it will take a lot of time. So let's hope yes. we'll find it's nothing. A main, uh, window yeah. Just we don't main, have the, yeah. yeah. Ma main frame, only windshields are removed. Yeah, windshields are gone, yeah. Yeah. And usually they're in window frame or continuity fitting, which is all over. Mm -hmm. In this structure uh, could be a fatigue crack. Okay. And uh, we have instructions how to uh, which areas we should inspect mm -hmm. with at the current inspection. And uh, let's do it visual inspection. The so light, first of all, yeah. yeah, first we start with the visual inspection. Yes, visual if inspection. there are no visible cracks, right? No visible. Just areas which we have to perform inspection, mm -hmm. all the rages, okay. around fasteners, this side, this side, and uh, continuity fittings. It's not comfortable mm. to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you might don't know what eddy current means, so I ask Yolanta to explain how it works. Okay. So let's hear it from her. Uh, we have a coil mm -hmm. there. Okay. And uh, which he have uh, his own, own uh, magnetic field. Okay. Material have his own mm -hmm. magnetic field. Okay. And these two magnetic fields uh, uh, create uh, eddy currents. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. And inspections go. Uh, uh, we have to hold this probe uh, direct on the surface, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, check uh, all, all surface uh, to find some uh, some some cracks, yeah, body cracks, all all radius, all uh, edges. <clears throat> so it will give you. It, it will give you firstly like uh, you will have a visual signal of the crack, and you will have also like sound. It, it, yeah. it will inform you. Yeah. In, if in two forms. Yeah. yeah. If I uh, see something mm -hmm. like uh, there, it's uh, one dark point, uh -huh. but there it could be um, paint damage, okay. or or just paint or sealant. Okay. I check this uh, area. Yeah, that's, that's can, basically yeah, sealant. Yeah, but yeah, it's sealant. But uh, yeah, with uh, this at the current, I can uh, confirm or not mm -hmm. the cracks on the structure. Yeah. Uh, basically, in the uh, base maintenance, certifying staff do the visual inspections, and they can ask me, "Could you check, please?" Yeah, yeah, we, we, we're doing the same case. thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever we have like uh, like a dent or something like that, we yes. need to call you to confirm that there are no cracks, of course. Yes. Because we can't see the inside of the structure, but you can. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, in our experience in this area. Usually, we found the crack, and it's a big job for base maintenance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they like but you, yeah? yeah? No, <laughs> really, no. <laughs> But it's yeah. of course important, so yeah. it must be done. <clears throat> it must be done, and in, in this area, we check this area, uh, and there cannot found the defect. Maybe for your, if you want to see how a cracks looks like, we have uh, uh, some place in another airplane. We can show you. And guess what? I said yes. I want to show you guys how the crack looks like on the testing device. So we slowly move to the second airplane. So now we're in Abkeli and uh, because uh, b because you performed before the Edicar inspection, right? On door stops. On yes. door stops you found some cracks which yes. you will gonna show us now. Yes. Awesome. And again at the current different reference standard. Mm -hmm. So again we need to check if the tool is okay, right? Yeah. Just collaborating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
now it's no. basically rotating, right? Yes. So this is basically crack. What do we see? Yeah. No? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a crack. So everything out of the box means crack. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, everything which are go uh, right up, Upper, upwards. And okay. In the right direction. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. It's a it's a crack. Uh, inspecting all all holes. Mm -hmm. It's no crack. No crack. It's only a noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see, I see, yeah. I see. Yeah. Since we're inside it's of the no, box, it's fine. Yeah. And we can. Oh, okay. So you found a hole with the cracks. Yeah. Awesome. And not around on this. If the crack is too small, mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, emanating from a hole. Mm -hmm. We can find only with the rotator. If mm -hmm. this particular crack is big and start from hole, um, it can uh, go through and we can see. And you can even feel yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. CYI or with a high frequency the current inspection which we are doing. Around. Yes, yes, yes. But in this case, we found so small, small crack, mm -hmm. and it's very good. But it's it's on beginning, so basically yeah, now we can beginning. fix it without without like big big, big repair. Big, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's also actually that's amazing. Yeah, just uh, it will be just oversize the whole one or two sizes. Then you do. Yeah, yeah. Then you then you again perform any yes. Yeah. And, and if it's okay, just uh, leave it as oh, it yeah. is. Perfect. It's our job to find something in too small that we can yeah, fix yeah, yeah. early. That's why we have you. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That's important. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hey, thank you for your time. Thank you. It was very pleasure much to job. meet you. Okay. And uh, thank you for your explanation. So, Bye. let's move to the next station. This was just a quick look how such an inspection is performed. Uh, big thanks to Yolanta for her time and for her extensive explanation how this thing works. And if you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer to you. Also, I'll leave link and email address in the description below. So if you have any questions directly on FL Technic, you can write them. Uh, in next video, I'll show you my tour through the engine shop. So you have definitely something to looking forward to. All what's remaining is to say thank you for watching and for your time. And I'll see you next one. Bye. Hi, so guys, we moved to the engine shop here in Kaunas. And I'm here with Valery who will tell us everything about this place. So, Valerie. Hello, my name is Valerie. Hi. I'm a Chief Executive Officer of uh, FL Technics Engine Services. So here we are in our brand new engine shop. Yeah. So we approved uh, in CFM 56 engine family mm -hmm. engines in Dash 3, 5B and 7B. Mm -hmm. uh, IASA, FAA and UKCA, mm -hmm. 5.45. Mm -hmm. So and right now we have in the shop uh, the whole engines which we serve, I mean the types. Uh -huh. It's uh, dash threes, uh, dash five, and dash seven. Mm -hmm. So all of them yeah. we have uh, here. So we move to one of the disassembled engine. This is uh, CFM uh, yes. 56 five, five, five B. Five B. Okay. Yes, Thomas, this is a very good example of, of uh, what, what what we can do. So mm -hmm. this is a hot section restoration, okay. almost complete. So with the uh, uh, LPT NGVs, HPT NGVs replacement, and combustion chamber replacement. So this is uh, our team. So uh, this is Domantas. Yeah. Domantas, yeah. So this is Thomas. So this is our very experienced mechanics. And uh, yeah, we know each other yeah, already. Now yeah. the, in detail, we explain what we're doing and how we're doing. Okay, Thomas. So yeah, go. Hello.